Is it possible to lose body fat without losing muscle? It's extremely hard to do, but it is it's very possible. Um, what needs to be, and it needs to be certain variables that need to be in place in order to achieve that. So the first thing you want to be in place is that whatever you did f during the off season to build muscle tissue, you also want to do during the in season or when you're dieting down um, to maintain the muscle tissue. A lot of people, when they when they try to get when they say, "Oh, I want to get leaner," they switch their exercise. So they go from the basic exercise like squats, the deadlifts, bent over rows, military presses close grip bench presses, dips, chin ups, stuff like that. And they switch over to isolation exercises like flies, rear flies, a lot of curling, et cetera, et cetera, a lot of ab work. And, and what happens is when you reduce, uh, when you go from switching from compound movements to isolation exercises, your body's like, hey, I don't need as much muscle because I'm not moving as much weight and I could just shed this, you know? So, and you're also sending a message by doing you know reducing your caloric intake which is required in order to get leaner and you're probably doing more cardio so your body's automatically going to be aiming towards getting smaller so it's going to like i don't really need this muscle i'm going to ditch it basically the body doesn't like to be comfortable and the only reason why it retains muscle is because it needs it so when you're getting leaner when you're going through a um when you're going through a diet that's geared towards making you leaner it helps just keep sending a message to your body, hey, I need to hold on to this muscle. And the way to do that is heavy training. Now, as you reduce your caloric intake, uh, particularly from carbohydrates, your body will, will, you may lose some strength, you know. You're gonna probably lose a little bit of strength. You're not gonna be as strong as the, in the off season typically as you will be, uh, off season when you're trying to build muscle and you're in a caloric surplus as you will be in season when you're trying to get leaner. But your goal should be, to train as heavy as possible uh, within repetition range that's that's going to maintain your muscle. So whatever you do in the off season, you want to do it in season. Now that doesn't mean that you can't include some other variables into your training. Say, there's some techniques you can use in weight training actually to burn more calories and to make you leaner quicker. So I'll give you an example. Uh, drop sets are really good for getting leaner. So a drop set would be like let's suppose you're bench pressing with 250 pounds and you go to failure, you can do eight to 10 reps, a partner helps you rack it, he pulls, he pulls 50 pounds off, you go again, you do as many as you can again, you rack it, you pull another 50 pounds off, and you go again. So you, you may get eight, you get eight to 10 reps the first uh, part, part of the set, you may get like six, and then you may get another six. So 10, six, six, that's 20, what's that, 22 reps, right? So small reps are more actual work than you would do if you just do straight sets. So drop sets are really good. Um, Pre-exhaust is okay. Um, where you do like isolation movement and you immediately follow it by a compound movement. Or post-exhaust where you do a compound movement, which I actually think would be better. And you follow it by an isolation movement for the same body part. So maybe squats followed by leg extensions will burn more energy. Um, what, is, what else do I recommend if you want to lose body fat without uh, uh, burning any muscle? Um, Another factor is you want to keep your protein intake fairly high. Because you reduce your, cal your caloric intake, I would actually recommend you bring up your protein intake a little bit. So the rule of thumb generally is like one gram per pound of body weight in the off season when you're trying to put on lean muscle tissue, at least one gram. Of course, if you're, a lot, if you're, oh, if you're fat, if you, if you tend to hold a lot of fat, then you may not need as much as that. But that's the general rule of thumb. As you reduce your carbohydrate intake, what I would suggest is you bring your, your protein intake up a little bit. So anywhere between one and, and a quarter grams per pound to one and a half grams. One and a quarter should be fine. And one and a quarter from different sources of protein. So uh, eggs, um, yogurt, fish, other, um, other dairy products, other seafood, uh, other uh, beef, other meats, poultry. Um, you're also going to get protein from your um, vegetable sources, some protein in oatmeal, for example. Uh, there's even protein in Cheerios a little bit. So um, it's the total amount of protein you're going to eat. So you want to keep that relatively high. Um, what else? Uh, cardiovascular exercise. So you want to do enough cardio to induce fat, fat burning, but not so much that your body starts dumping muscle. How much you need? 
it depends on the individual. Some people can tolerate more because of their body type. So, for example, my body type is more is what's called, what's termed like an ecto mesomorph, which means that I tend to be very lean, but I build muscle fairly easy. So, in other body types, I have friends who are. I have a friend who is who is endo endomorph endomorphic mesomorphic. He builds muscle easily, but he also gains fat easily. Then I have friends who are more mesomorphic, mesomorphic or very muscular, and they don't really, really put on, you know, they're not super lean, but they're not fat either. So it depends on your body type. Generally, the body types that are, that are leaner, that, that tend to be on the leaner scale, they te their body tends to dump muscle quicker. So if I do excess cardio, you know, I need to be careful because I can I can lose muscle. So it depends on your body type. You own, the rule of thumb is you only only want to do enough cardio to induce fat fat burning and manipulate your you know your your caloric expenditure from other means, from weight training, a little from a little bit of cardio and through your diet. So that all factors will make you will make you will get you leaner and preserve your muscle tissue. What else? Sleep. Sleep becomes more important as you get leaner. It's actually harder to sleep when you're lean, when you're when you're in a caloric deficit because your body will tend to wake you up at night and be like, "Hey, I'm hungry. I need to go searching for food." Uh, but sleep is really important. Sleep um, optimizes your hormonal levels and will also uh, allow your body to repair itself and replenish even on a caloric deficit. Because you're in a caloric deficit and your nutrient needs are not optimized, it's going to take you longer to recover from your exercise. So getting enough sleep will make a difference um, another factor fat intake fat intake uh, fat intake from things like olive oil uh, fish oils fish fatty fishes um, uh, even a little bit of saturated fat is good for you uh, fat is actually will keep your hormonal levels high your testosterone levels high uh, some studies have shown that when uh, fat intake drops below 15% that your body, the body's testosterone goes down a little bit. And testosterone will help maintain your drive, like your focus. Um, it will maintain some of your muscle tissue. Here's one more factor I would suggest, that you lose the fat slowly over time, that you don't just, you know, you don't just freak your body out. You don't go from, say, I want to lose 10 pounds. You don't tell yourself, I want to lose 10 pounds in, say, a week. And then you and then you do excessive exercise, drop your your caloric intake down to 500 calories. You will, your body will definitely dump muscle tissue, so you lose it slowly over time. Anywhere between one pound a week, one and a half pounds a week. Um, I wouldn't try to do it more than two pounds a week, and I would try to do it really gradually, slowly over time, while you're retaining strength, um, and while you're keeping your fat intake at a sufficient amount and your protein intake at a sufficient amount. That should make the difference. If you do that then you will get leaner, you will get leaner over time. One more factor I suggest is that, is that, um, well not suggest, one more factor you need to keep, keep in mind is that beginners tend to, um, people that are new to weight training tend to build muscle relatively quickly, um, even, on a, even when their caloric intake is low, is low. So if you're a beginner, then have at it, you're gonna get lean anyway. You know, you're gonna be able to build some muscle and, and get leaner. But that honeymoon period will probably slow down a little bit and, and it will be important maybe to separate what you do. So have phases where you're putting on muscle tissue without putting on fat and then phases where you're getting leaner. Maybe three months of one and three months of the other, six months of one, six months of the other, you know, will make a difference. So that's my suggestions until next time. We'll talk about, you know, have a good day, enjoy yourself, take care.